Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So I look really funny right now. That's because I have foundation and then concealer on my eye and then like nothing else happening. So I look a little weird, but that's fine. So anyways, so during quarantine, like it was my mission to learn how to do wing liner. And that was when I discovered the Kajra wing stamp. I did a whole video on it. I will link it down below for you guys. But that was like my introductory to winged liner like before that i had no clue about placement and stuff like that and even till now like i'm still like perfecting it like day by day like i'm not perfect when it comes to wing liner like by any means whatsoever but i have a pretty solid like understanding of like placement and what to do and things that i've done like in the past that i wouldn't do now like I'm, I'm starting to really get it down so I wanted to do a video for people like me that are still kind of like trying to master wing liner but haven't like got it down pat so kind of like a beginner's introductory tutorial for how to master wing liner it's a learning curve like you're going to make mistakes but what I've learned when it comes to makeup like it comes off like I used to take it so seriously and be like oh my god like what am I gonna do I can't come back from this but it's fine it's just makeup you can wash it off and that was what i used to do like i used to come home from work take the placement down and whatnot and then like go from there and that was really how i started to become more confident in it and now i don't even use my like tools like my wing stamp or anything like that so today's video is going to be exactly that i'm going to show you guys how to master wing liner for beginners like i said we're all still learning day by day makeup is always changing techniques are always coming out and stuff but i wanted to show you guys my techniques on it so if you guys are interested go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into the video so first things first it's crucial to have a good reliable liner so for beginners i would recommend the wet n wild breakup proof waterproof liquid liner you can get this at the drugstore cvs walgreens ulta anything like that it's just a plain black liner but it's like three dollars and if you're just starting out with liner you don't have to go out and buy a 30 dollars liner from sephora like it's totally unnecessary especially if you're just going to be practicing i highly recommend the wet n wild one it's just what i've learned to like love so i'm going to zoom you guys in so my first tip for you guys is to do this with no other makeup on so what i'll do is i won't do eyeshadow I won't do anything like that i'll just put like my base down and then like i'll work with that because if you're going to spend time doing eyeshadow and then you're going to do wing liner and then you mess it up then you got to take off the eyeshadow as well so it just becomes like too much so if you're beginning and you want to learn how to do it you want to learn placement and stuff like that definitely start with like a blank canvas like this just in case you gotta take it off you're not really ruining anything at all and it's really easy to just like redo the space so that's my number one tip i like to use like a handheld mirror like this you can use anything an eyeshadow palette mirror whatever you want but i like to use like a handheld mirror like this i went away like two weeks ago and i had to get up and do my makeup really early the next day and i was literally sitting there with like a handheld mirror doing my liner because you know hotels like they don't have the best lighting or the best mirrors and i found that like using the handheld mirror i actually got like a better wing so i was really really surprised with that so i definitely recommend using a handheld mirror but where i'll start is i'll start right here so right where my upper lid ends i used to start where my lower lash line ended which is not what you want to do so i've learned that along the way so i do start right over here and i'm going to try to do like a baby wing today sometimes i get carried away and like my wing is super super big but you know what i'm here for it no matter what i always shake my liner so i just go just like this okay i'm not going to talk during this part because if i talk i will mess it up so moment of silence okay the line just like that is all you need so a mistake that i used to always do when i was practicing my wing is i used to connect it like from the very very end and then go in and then it would always look so big and not like a wing and i was like what am i doing wrong what you want to do is you want to kind of like bring it back towards your eye, but more towards the middle of that line. So you don't want to start right where the line ends. You want to start more like in the middle. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm just, again, moment of silence because I can't talk. So I will close my eye. It is a little hard to like see like while I'm doing this on camera, but I'm going to do my best. So I will close my eye. And then, like I said, I'm not going to start right out here. I'm going to start more in. Do you see how I connected it more in the middle of the line instead of all the way on the outside? That's what you want to do. If I have to, I will just kind of like tug a little bit on my eye, not too much. You don't want to be pulling and tugging on your eyes.
and I will go up here. When it comes to wing liner, you definitely want to get the outline done first and then you can worry about filling it in later. As long as you have that like base outline, now you really know like what you're working with. That's what I always do and that's how I like perfect it. See how it's kind of looking nice and like put together. I did mess up and I did like bring it a little too far out to the middle, but we will fix that, no worries. So I'm just going to finish up the inner part of my eye. So if you want to make it super sharp and just kind of like clean up over here, micellar water and a Q-tip are your best friend. That's going to make this process so much easier. You don't want to drench the Q-tip in micellar water though. You just kind of want to like, even around the cap, get it like a little damp, nothing too crazy. And then I will go right over, like underneath. And just sharpen it. Okay guys, so pretty much that is our wing. Like I said, it's not perfect and that's okay. This is just like the baseline of what you want it to look like. Obviously it has that little swoop and it's not like over the top. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do my other eye and then I'm going to come back and do my concealer with you guys because that is also where you can really clean this up and really make it look nice and sharp. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, so now both wings are done. I just want to let you guys know they're not always going to come out identical and that's just, it is what it is. They look pretty similar as you can see. I'm actually really liking the left one a lot better than I'm liking the right one, which is funny because my right eye is always my easy eye and my left eye is always my hard eye. So today they switched up on me. Now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way one. This is one of like my tried and trues. So now I'm just gonna blend out my concealer. As you can see, I have it here and then I have it here. So you obviously don't wanna to go too high when you're blending over here because you'll cover the wing, but now you're actually able to really sharpen it and I'll show you what I mean. So once you get to right here, you really just wanna open your eye and just blend and get right under it, just like right there. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll take like a domed brush like this and just go right underneath just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and there's no like concealer just like lingering under there. Okay guys, so I just finished up the rest of my makeup and this is how the wings look after my makeup is totally done. Just remember guys, it's only makeup. That's literally all it is. Like I'm still trying to process that myself because I take my makeup so seriously because I'm so passionate about it and I love it so much so I take it very very seriously but just remember it's just makeup and just practice like I said before when I would come home from work I would just kind of like do an outline of a wing kind of see how it was looking and then I would just wash it off and like go to bed so don't take it so seriously if you have the time play around and my best like my number one tip is don't do your full face and then go in and try to do a wing definitely put a little concealer on your lid some powder and then go in and do your wing. It's a blank canvas and worst comes to worst. You can always just take it off and start simple. Like I said, where is it? There's so many black liners here. Okay, so just start simple. It's a $3 liner from CVS, Walgreens, wherever, Wet n Wild. So good, so affordable. Start here and just kind of get the hang of it. Wings are so complicated and I'm still trying to get like the full hang of it. I really want to figure out how, you know, some people do like that little like swoop and it's just like a perfect little like baby wing. That's what I'm trying to do. But for whatever reason, my hands are just so like, and I can never just like master that. So that is my next one, like a little baby wing, like a little baby wing. That is what I want to master next. But I'm just so happy that I finally got this far where it looks like a wing. It literally just used to look like a straight line on my eye. And I was like, what the hell am I doing? Like, what is seriously happening? Yes, those are my best tips for you guys. Remember, it's only makeup and it washes off like it's not permanent. So don't sit there and get stressed out. I would be lying to you if I literally sat here and said I still don't get stressed out when I'm doing my wing. I was getting stressed out during this video. But that just comes with anything. I get stressed out during my makeup all the time because sometimes it's just not coming out the way it's supposed to be or the way I want it to be. And it is what it is. But... We are all here, we are all learning, and definitely let me know what your tips are. Like, do you guys have any, like, secret hacks for getting, like, the perfect wing liner? I know that some people use tape. I do use tape from time to time if I'm doing my eyeshadow and I want to, like, 
align it with my wing, I will go ahead and use tape. But yeah, so that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and leave me all of your tips and recommendations down below. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.